Student flats and co-living scheme thrown out. Express and Echo, page seven. I've had a chance to re read this dur during that. Um, I'd, I've raved on about this several t several times before, um, but I'm just going to concentrate on the illustration. Uh, this is um, what they call an artist's impression, and it is it is slightly different, uh, but the basis of it is is the same. It's it's a shot from inside the St Luke's space looking across at what what might become the student accommodation building um, which has changed slightly I think but it's still from from St Luke's so the lawn the shrubs the trees all of that is on the St Luke's side none of that in terms of trees or greenery is going to be on the side where the student accommodation is so the debate that you can get on YouTube the, the Exeter Council planning meetings are, are complete live on, on YouTube and all the record is there the previous application the planning professionals spoke about urban edge they seem very keen on the the look and feel around the bus station that is very very urban edge because they're quite tall buildings and they come right up to the pavement and they're close together and that's got certain style to it but the garden city theme also I think there was more of that in this most recent meeting so what you what you get in this um, artist's impression the, the, the Garden City bit is, is completely St Luke's. The fact that there's a main road there and buses, um, that doesn't appear in the, in the, in the picture. This is page, page seven of the Express and Echo, today's edition of it. Um, you wouldn't, if you just looked at this, you'd think, well, there's a nice wall there and more or less in front of that directly there's this new building but uh, you wouldn't know there was a road or, or any kind of traffic um, but this, 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 this just seems very misleading and I know I'm repeating myself but I've said this every time the Echo runs this photo or a version of, of this photo uh, it's just crazy the, the, the way the developments are presented um, who believes this stuff it's not nonsense. Anyway, I'm going to stop now. Um, I noticed the, re the reporter has an email address at XFM. Oh, sorry, radio... No, rad sorry, radiox.co.uk. I think I've got that right. So I'm going to, I'm going to find out what they, what they think, think about this. Anyway, I'm going to go off into fiction uh, because this is a drama show. And so I'm going to expand my my situational story about um, CDs, walking around where the CD walk, where the CD record shops used to be, um, because that it seems to me that is a, is a way of thinking about what's actually required for education. If if education moves online. In, this, in a similar way to what's happened with music, which it may not. We don't know what's going to happen. Um, but the space required may be a lot less. So some of these buildings, seem, seem, they seem to just assume that there will always be more and more students. They will all want the same student experience. They will therefore want to expand the campus indefinitely. And the, the, the city has got to accommodate it somehow. But there's, which which may be right, but there, there just isn't any debate about uh, what the numbers might be or what might happen and what the ratio of building to online investment should be or could be or might be. There's no um, clear guidance coming from the university, I don't think. Anyway, sorry, back to fiction. This is this is a drama show, so. Uh, the CD Walk, which there's some script for already, 
it's people walking around Exeter observing where the record shops used to be and observing where the student accommodation is going up and just asking that question um, does this make any sense so I'm thinking about some new scenes in this uh, a walk away from the city centre towards uh, the Waitrose that's part of this um, and in the cafe the Waitrose cafe there could be a conversation uh, where there's a meeting with people who work in St Luke's because th this is a missing voice as far as I can make out You'd, I've read several Express and Echo articles and there's never th there's a lot of local concerns of various kinds but you don't get anybody from St Luke's uh, say how they feel about it um, but in this in this play you could imagine there are such people and it, it just seems to me there's, a, there's an obvious contrast between the building proposed and the style of St Luke's which for, for people who don't know is, is a Victorian uh, version of Gothic but with lots of space it's got a, it's got a a, a big lawn in the middle of the square in so once you get inside it no, it's not just the, the shrubs and lawn that you see in the front which is part of this photograph so the, you've got garden city to urban edge contrast and I, I, I just wonder what people in St Luke's might think about that uh, so the, the, the fiction would be that such people uh, speak uh, if they exist and, and so you just imagine what they have to say so this, this, I think this could be improv um, the, the people I've met who do improv don't, don't really want much of a script from, from what I've understood of it so the, the only guidance I'd offer is it's in, in sort of three stages there's a sort of normalcy so Saint, life in St Luke's as it always has been some sort of shock which could be the Express and Echo page 7 um, what to think about it and then some kind of hybrid future model uh, that might allow for a campus or a city that was more or less livable coupled with various online alternatives that made it viable um, some sort of resolution of some, some sort of kind um, because this um Anyway, that that would be that would be sort of three stages, it, and that's that. Dramatically, there's some sort of resolution at the end, but it may it may turn out just to be a tragedy. Some sort of disaster would happen. Who who knows? Anyway, it's it's supposed to be a short ten minute conversation. <laughs> so don't know how how you know, what's how am I doing for time? Eight fifty three forty four. Okay, this isn't going to work at all. <laughs> 